Hello, in this video, we will learn how to perform scratch assay. Scratch assay is an easy, low cost and well developed method to measure cell migration in in vitro cell culture by using image analysis software. Scratch assay is also called as wound healing assay and cell migration assay. The basic steps involve creating a scratch like this one. This scratch is created in a cell monolayer, then capturing the images at the beginning and at regular interval during the cell migration till the scratch is closed. Images are then compared to quantify the migration rate of the cells. In this video, our aim is to measure the area of the wound, the center area, the area of the wound. For this purpose, a tool is used called wound healing size tool. We will download this tool. I have given the link in the description. Uh, this is a link and this link is also given in the description. We will go on this website. Right click, uh, right click it. Then save link as select this one. And select it at your desired position. I have already saved it. Now go to image J. Click on plugins, go to macros and select install. This is the file that I downloaded. Select it and open it. You can see three new icons have appeared in image J. The first, this one, the first is wound Meyer healing tool. By clicking this tool, it will lead to the website that instructs how to use macros. This is the website. Uh, the second letter M is a Meyer wound killing tool. It is used to set the threshold and minimum size of the area for calculation. The third icon with the letter B is batch measure wound healing tool. It is used to analyze the stack images. Now, for taking measurements, take your image into image A by drag and drop function. Okay, so this is your image which has a scratch. Now convert this image into 8 bit. Now right click on icon M. You will see a pop up window. It has few options like method, select it as variance. Next is variance filter radius, select it as 2. Threshold. Threshold is very critical. I am writing it as 35. The close radius it is 4. And minimum size. This is also very important. And I am writing it as, as 1. You have to learn these settings by yourself. It depends upon the quality of your image, its brightness, contrast, and other features. For this uh, image, these settings will work fine. After this, click OK. Now click on Analyze and go to Analyze Particles. 
so we have few options here the first is size which is in square pixels if we have calibrated image a then uh, uh, there will be a unit like micrometer instead of pixels i have made a video on how to calibrate image a you can see that video i am giving the link in the description for this video for this analysis i am setting the size as 1 to infinity circularity from 0 to 1 and show overlay this is very important another thing is check the display results and then click ok uh, I don't need to check the threshold ok now everything is set up now just click on icon containing M after a few processing you will see two new windows have appeared the one is measurement results and the other is with ROI manager and you can also see that there is a line on your image this line is uh, defining the area of your scratch the measurement of this closed area is given in the result dialog box this one there are two important things one is the area and the other is standard deviation the unit of this area depends upon the calibration of your image j the roi manager is very important it is used to edit the border line in the image for this purpose you can see here the area is labeled as one if we want to remove this just click on label the next you can go to properties a new dialog box has appeared you can name it uh, like a proper name like scratch essay you can write its position you can change the color of the stroke this line it's yellow you can change it to like uh, red then click ok the color has been changed to red you can see other options like you can change the width of this line like I will write uh, 7 the line will become bold we can also fill the color like uh, I may write cyan ok you can do all these settings after doing all these settings you can save the results this result file like file click on file then save as and you can save the results at your desired location in an excel file i have already a file i will replace that file you can also save this file this image if you don't like the fill you can you can write none here if the line is thick enough you can thin it down and you can save this image for further use in your publication in order to save this image just click on close and ROI manager will ask you to save or discard any changes just click on save as overlay and this image has been saved with these settings i hope you have learned how to measure the area 
like in this case the area was uh, 182101 square pixels if you have any questions please ask me in the comment box i will try to answer them i hope you have watched my previous videos on how to calibrate image j and how to add a scale bar if not their links are given in the description below thank you